Nine months ago, CBS 11 began following a cancer patient as she started a new Dallas-based clinical trial for an experimental vaccine. The therapy has virtually no side effects and is made from a patient's own tumor. CBS 11's Karen Borda shows us how the vaccine works and how a Frisco mother's life has changed because of it. It's an exciting moment Hi, my friend. for the doctors and nurses at the Mary Crowley Cancer Research Center. I'm going to miss you. And for cancer patient Tanya Hughes. She's getting her sixth and final dose of an experimental vaccine One, two, three. specifically designed to battle her cancer. Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I feel like the old Tanya. We first met Tanya in October last year, a month after she was diagnosed with stage four liver cancer that had spread to her lungs. Okay, honey. At the time, she was given just one year to live. I can't have cancer, I have a baby. Just be on the gas. Tanya's only wish was to live long enough to see her then two-year-old son go to kindergarten. I just want to see him drop the school bus and wave. Even just five years old, bye mommy. Supermom to the rescue. So when her doctors said they were out of treatment options, she began looking for something else. That's when she found a clinical trial at Mary Crowley for a new cancer vaccine. I'm putting my trust in Mary Crowley now, <laughs> but this has got to work. The vaccine is made up of cancer cells from actual tumors taken directly from Tanya's lungs during surgery last November. Within hours of the surgery, the tumors were rushed to a lab in Carrollton where they were broken down into individual cancer cells. The cells were then put into this machine where they were superheated and shocked, a process that changed their genetic makeup. What we're trying to do is to dismantle the stealth system that the cancer cell has. So the immune radar system, which we've now revved up, not only can see it, but can produce ways to attack those cancer cells more effectively. Dr. Neil Sensor is one of the lead researchers on this trial, which is now in phase two. He says by changing the genes within the cancer cells and re-injecting them into Tanya's body, her immune system can now recognize the diseased cells and fight them. I mean, that's why we're doing this, to help people, to help patients, and, um, and, and to do the right thing. In February, after the first two doses, Dr. John Numenitis, who was also helping lead this study, reported that Tanya's vaccine oh, yeah. Yeah. was working. It looks like the cancer stopped growing. Uh, it's officially called stable disease. Almost four months later, and after four more doses. As time went on and every CT results came back better and better and better, then it was like, okay, you can get a little happy now. <laughs> okay, push mama. And happiness now means the wish of seeing her son off to kindergarten could soon become a reality. And I will be there putting him on a bus and watching him go to school. You've got a future. I think I do. I think I do. I'm going with you. Karen Borda, CBS 11 News. Very encouraging news, and Tanya's doctors say now that she's done with the vaccine regimen, she'll be monitored closely with scans every three months to see if her cancer progresses. But Tanya says, should the cancer grow, she now has the confidence that she'll be able to fight it once again.